trainer, Dean de Chazelle, has earned recognition for the way he runs his operation. Until they are big enough to fend for themselves, the hatchlings are kept in large temperature controlled enclosures and fed as far as possible on natural food like carrots and spinach. Dean, we're sitting amongst these gorgeous ducks here and I, I must say they look really happy and is this what you would call free range? No, 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 free range, this is open range. Okay. Open range means they're free to roam day and night. Uh, free range means they're in a building but they can walk on the floor, but they can't ever go outside and ever feel the sun. So open range is the way it's supposed to be. Uh, and they're free to go outside and eat the nunus and, and things that they can find outside. And do you feel that this is the way that we should be growing our food? All of us. If you just imagine some of the big companies doing chicken, if they just had a door letting their chickens outside just for the day, they can bring them in at night time, so that quality of chicken, of taste of meat is going to be better. And health-wise? I mean, and health-wise, because well. they're eating new news, they're eating the grass. Mm. It's never ever seen the grass, never even seen the sun. Mm. Yeah, so health-wise for them and health-wise for us. Health That's what I'm kind them. of picking up from your definitely, farm. Definitely, definitely yeah. health-wise for the, for the, for the animal. The animals, yeah. And definitely for us as eating this thing, it's, got, it's a better quality product. It all comes down to money. The, the chickens go off after five weeks, 35 days they go to slaughter. It's probably a week later for a, for a duck. It's about money. So for me, I've tried to get my customers to go rather go for a bigger duck, which means it's had a 50% longer life. And that's got to be better for the duck and for us. Dean points out that ducks have webbed feet because their natural habitat is water. And to deny them a wetland environment when they reach maturity, as so often happens in profit-driven operations, is cruel. So how have you made these uh, little dams that they're in? We, we basically let them make them. Uh, they, we put the hose pipe over there and the water filled, flowed there and then they dug the hole and then we dug it out a bit deeper and we brought in the bobcat and we went further. And, but um, it, it all starts from the top and it all flows down and it goes down and down and all the way down the farm. So, so they're kind of making their own home. They're making their own little place to be. That's very special that, that's very special. In this environment now that they're outside and they're bigger and they can obviously fend for themselves in this weather, do they find their own food here or do you still have to, to feed them? In wintertime not too much food, but in summertime when all this is green, they eat this cuckoo. She's beginning to try and look for roots and nunus if they can find down there. I'm just loving seeing them. They're just like, they're free. I, I kind of wish they were pink and orange and purple a little bit. That would be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? Like a rainbow nation or something. We should oh, build. no, but they look happy. So I don't even want to think about what's going to happen to them, but at least they're having a good quality of life now. Yeah, we won't talk about eating them until we eat them and then we'll talk about them because those are the other ones. We won't talk about these ones. <laughs> If Dean had his way, he probably would paint his ducks different colours. But then that is all part of the spirit of the Midlands, doing things differently.